Hello again. We will start now by chapter one. We will first define what is thermodynamics. Thermodynamics deal with the relationship between heat and other forms of energy. Mainly how heat is transferred or converted from or to other forms of energy. For example, if we take an engine, an engine is mainly composed of a cylinder and the piston inside the cylinder and the piston is connected to a crankshaft that rotates at some RPM so this is the cylinder this is the piston and here we have the crankshaft Air plus fuel enter the cylinder and by a spark ignited by a spark plug here the air and the fuel mixture will undergo combustion so the combustion energy is transferred to the piston by some downward force and this downward force will create a downward motion of the piston so here the thermal energy from combustion is converted to mechanical energy by work so here we have a work or from power output another example is in we find it in power plant in a power plant we have a boiler also we have two streams of air and fuel that enter the boiler the combustion energy will convert the liquid high pressure liquid water entering the boiler and will convert it to steam high pressure steam exiting the boiler then the steam will be directed to a turbine this turbine maybe has several rows of blades that are connected to the turbine shaft so this is the shaft this is the turbine and the blades will rotate due to the action of the steam force on them then the shaft of the turbine will be connected to a generator an electric generator that will finally produces electricity so here the steam energy or the thermal energy of the steam is converted to mechanical energy by the turbine and then the mechanical energy is converted to electrical energy by the generator 
So in these two examples, we see how heat is converted to other forms of energy. First, in order to analyze such thermodynamic systems, we need to start by defining our systems. Our system is the same is the same concept or a similar concept as in mechanics to the free body diagram. So in mechanics. What we do is, uh, we isolate the body of interest from all other bodies or external bodies and we draw the forces acting on this body. After we draw the forces, we apply in Newton's second law. In thermodynamics, we go through the, the same process. However, our free body diagram is called the system. And we are mainly interested in how the system interact with its surrounding. And if we know how the system interacts with its surrounding, we therefore apply laws of thermodynamics. So mainly we have a region in space of a region in space of interest and we want to study it so the system is whatever we want to study in space so we have the system and the system is separated by a boundary and the boundary will separate the system from its surroundings so outside the system we call it the surroundings we have two types of systems. The first type is called a closed system. In a closed system, we have a matter in space that has a constant mass. So the primary characteristic of a closed system is that the mass is constant inside the system and the system cannot interact with its surrounding by mass transfer so there is no mass transfer across system boundaries However, even though there is no mass transfer, there can be energy transfer. So the system can interact with its surrounding by energy transfer. So maybe we have energy transfer in and energy transfer out. So interaction is only by energy For example, if we have a, like a pan or a tank filled with water and we are heating this water. by some an external energy source. Our system here, let's say, is the water. We maybe want to know how the temperature of water evolves with respect to time. So this is my area of interest and we 
I draw the boundaries across the water and my system is water. The mass of water here is, uh, let's say, considered constant. There is no water in or there is no water out. So the mass is constant. However, the water here is interacting with the surrounding by energy transfer or some energy input. For example, by heating. We are doing a heating experiment. A special type of systems, of closed system, a special type is called an isolated system. So in an isolated system, there is no mass transfer. And there is no energy transfer. So this type of system is called an isolated system. So maybe there is no heating, no cooling, there is no work done or power done on the system or power done by the system, no energy transfer at all. And the mass of the system is always considered constant. The second type of thermodynamic system is referred to open systems. Sometimes we call open system a control volume. In this type of system, mass can be transferred across the boundary of the system. So here the control volume and maybe we have mass in and mass out. So unlike closed system, mass can be transferred across the boundary of the system. And similarly, Similar to the closed system, energy also can be transferred. Maybe energy in, you have and energy, energy out. Such, such a system can be found mainly in application where we have some fluid flow. Let's say for example, we have a pipe and this pipe is connected to a nozzle so this is called a nozzle a nozzle is a flow device where we have some decreasing area. So the area here is decreasing. So say this section one and two, the area at one is larger than the area at two. So we can say that the velocity at two is higher than the velocity at one. So if we consider the nozzle, as our control volume. At section one, we have some mass of a fluid in, and at section two, we have some mass out. So here, mass is transferred across the boundary of the system. So the nozzle is therefore considered an open system. In our next videos, we will start by talking about properties.
so see you in my next video.